Another surface shader is formula. Go into the surface category and here formula. With the formula that you type in here, <coughs> cosine, sine, or any formula in mathematical, you can create such a these things. This wave, this is a cosine. For example, change to sine. Let's try. Yeah, you can see variables. You can open it. You can see UW map coordination, x, y, z, shading point, and t in a time in a second. <clears throat> uh, you can change these numbers to changing the wave, amplitude, frequency. This is a mathematical. Use global coordination. Uh, it's better to see the global enumeration <clears throat> with this exam example. For example, we have a plane here. Lots of. Then we have a, a, another formula effector here that you can assign to your plane and it's in formula. If we bring our plane to this way and this is an <clears throat> world coordination of the software and it's a local coordination means in the space of the object but if you change the you can see if you change the formula to <clears throat> global position we have such a this effects because the center of the uh, object the center of the uh, common is here but if you make your object bigger you can see it will be changed to reach the center nice so this is global and local the texture and the wave of formula will be changed because it's changing the center to the local or to the world or to the local you can see the difference between the local coordination of that so this is an exactly in the texture and formula use global coordination it's better to uncheck that because uh, maybe your objects are not in exactly the center of the software